Welcome to another episode of The Pantry Party with your host, DJ Blackner. Hey, that was a, a new rendition of our entry song. I hope that you enjoyed it. Do you think I should do it one more time? Because it's like, it was like so good. Ready? Okay. Welcome to another episode of The Pantry Party Show with your host, DJ Blattner. That was a different, that was a different version. Anyway, it's Friday. That's exciting. Got my kale sweatshirt on and I am ready to go. I've got my hair in a side pony uh, to encourage our guest today, Step It Up with Steph, to wear hair hair in a ponytail more often. I really, I feel like it is the way to go. So anyway, you know the routine. We're gonna get in our fabulous guest, which is Step It Up with Steph. Have her come in. And all of her glory. Oh girl, what's up? I, I, I actually, hey. Oh, you're doing a ponytail. I'm doing Girl, the pony for you. you. You look so great in it. I mean, <laughs> it's not all about looks. We know that it's about how you feel. But I feel like a pony is like like Thank a you. fairy, right? Well, Dawn, I washed my hair for you. So I thought I would wear it down. But I, I did have the rubber band because I thought you might request it up. Thank you. <laughs> it, you know, I this is my first uh, pantry party with an updo myself. Um, Somebody has already requested a dishwasher um, oh. exercise routine. <laughs> yes, um, I've been doing a lot of workouts in my kitchen and I do film myself washing my dishes because I don't have a dishwasher. And that's one of the reasons why I don't cook very much, Dawn. Um, but I already washed my dishes so that my kitchen was kind of clean for you. Well, as I have heard, the unintended consequence of having a daily pantry party show is that the guests are cleaning and they're showering more than ever. So you're the highlight. You're the highlight of our days. What can I say? I'm doing my part, people. Keep I your high vibes going. Keep your high vibes going. <laughs> Even though there's a serious pandemic going on, I realize that we yes. can still find nooks and crannies and fabulous joy in our lives. So yes. that's what pantry party is all about. And Thanks so much, Step It Up with Steph, for uh, joining me on the Pantry Party Show. Well, thanks for having me, Don, And also, thank you for putting this together because this is, like, so good for people. And I've learned a lot from watching your guests. And I just think it's, like, such a good idea. And every time I see you in my feed with the party, I'm like, oh, my God, there's something fun going on. Thank you for saying that. And I do, you know what, I had to take a step back, really, as of yesterday. So I've done, I mean, it's almost 20 of these. Um, you know, it's been that so long. Wow. It's exciting. It's exciting. However, I have come to realize I started these thinking that I was going to have all of these answers that people were going to come and show me a can of tuna. Yes. And I was going to be like, I can change your life. Do this with your tuna. And what ended up happening really is that the guests end up coming up with very good ideas <laughs> or, or stuff the people who are watching come up with the greatest ideas. Right. So let's just say this has really become um, a group effort. It takes a village yes. uh, sort of thing. So I think I'm going to have to probably tweak it a little bit of like what the show is all about. It's like mm -hmm. meet a guest, look in their pantry, and then let's, as a village, all try and, <laughs> try and come <laughs> up with answers. Well, I always learn from you. And I appreciate, you're so creative. And just like your approach with food, it's like very approachable, you know? Thank so, you. And it's I feel fun. the same. I feel the same about you, babe. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Um, but I, I am not coming to you with ideas, actually. I was going to show you a can of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Please don't show me a can of tuna. Unless anybody watching can help us decide what to do with a can of tuna. I don't know anymore. Here's, I will okay. give you, I'll give you two things. Um, we won't talk about the tuna quite yet. Okay. I'll give you two things. One, when I was writing the post all about you, I was yes. like, people recognize you because you host a show, a national show. How <laughs> exciting is that? You want to tell us a little bit about how you have been doing, how you've been enjoying being a host of a national show? Yes, I would love to, Dawn. So... <laughs> So the ultimate goal with Step It Up With Steph has always been like this health, wellness, fitness TV show. And so, you know, it aired locally in Chicago and then, um, and then it did really well. So then they wanted it to go national with PBS. 
So the concept is every episode we have an issue. So whether that's like anxiety or changing your career or insomnia or weight loss, and I bring in experts to help coach the guest on that issue. And in the meantime, we also have a workout routine for the issue. We have a dietitian to the kitchen, which you are part of for this national season, giving like tips on how you can eat to help with that issue. So if you're a perfectionist, here's like you were giving us one sheet ideas or like how to not make your, your lunch too perfect, the, the bowl ideas. You know, and, and it's really all about giving people solutions they can use to be healthier and happier um, in their lives. And it's not a one size fits all. You know, we've got tons of ideas that, that you can try. So um, I've loved, you know, I love putting that together. I like it when people watch it around the country because, you know, it's not just Chicago. It's, it's everywhere now. So it's been great. I love that. You know what? And I kind of, I mean, thanks for the reminder, because I kind of forget that it is all revolved around a theme of an issue. Yeah. Right? Like, what yeah. problem can we solve with these counselors and the food and the exercise? But that, you know, like, you can go back and watch your episodes of, like, even what is most applicable to you right now. So right. Like, oh, yes. You know, maybe that anxiety one is being rewatched so many, many times. <laughs> I know. Or the change in career or, you know, I mean, it's like, there's so much stuff going on right now. So, yeah. That's good. Well, I mean, that is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful thing. But in addition to that, uh, I have to give you a call out because again, I think you're creative. I think you do great stuff. I love all your stuff. Thanks. There is one thing recently that I was like, girl, I think I know what you're going to say. I don't know. Okay. I'd like to hear what you're going to say first and what you think I'm, I was drooling fabulous freaking out about this content. What do you think that I'm The wine say? workout. <laughs> I love that you thought that. Actually, I'm going to have to go back and look at your wine workout. <laughs> you know what it was? It was the working out or like stretches from your bed. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I was like, you know what? That is genius because I'm all about this idea of like, you know, plan B, half-ass it, you know, right. like, it's always better to do something than nothing. Yes. And I mean, is that, that's like the most perfect thing of like, hey, you know what? If you need a little help with momentum and all you've got for yeah. yourself right now is do a little workout in bed. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes. I think that it was so, cre I mean, everything you do is really creative, but that was just yeah, like, thanks. so it hit the mark yeah. for like what we need right now. Right. However, I may now, now that I know that there's this wine workout happening, I might, I might switch my answer. But anyways, that was, it was so good. And yeah, everyone needs to give a heart to a wine workout and a in-bed workout. Yes. Good stuff, girl. Good yes. stuff. Well, thank you. You know, we're trying to like reach people where they're at, you know, like if, it, and sometimes I get into workout reps too. So I need something to just meet me where I'm at, you know, I food, love it. same thing. You're in a rut. You need something where you're at you can't just do a whole overhaul so i'm gonna it. turn my ponytail like so i'm matching you actually oh yeah i mean okay. here's the thing i had it just so just so we're all clear i had it straight on and then i was like no if i'm really trying to go for like the 80s right feel, right it's right. like i need an off the shoulder item and a tilted thing <laughs> um so hey you know what i am really interested in how you are doing with this whole safe at home going to the grocery store less cooking more at home, like what have been sort of your go-to strategies for real? Yeah. So I have always uh, been a fan of ordering groceries. So um, I also like, I don't like cooking meat. It just kind of like, if I'm cooking meat, it has to be for someone else. I don't like watching the raw to cook transformation. Um, so I buy pre-cooked like chicken, turkey meatballs, turkey meatloaf, salmon. Um, I have frozen gluten-free chicken tenders, frozen gluten-free fish sticks, um, you know, and then I have like beans and cans of tuna um, and lentil pasta, which is something I want to talk to you about. Um, so I've been continuing to do that, but I also get a lot of delivery and, you know, my stomping grounds around town are closed now. Like I would get food at the gym or I would get food on the way home from the gym or, um, so I have been having to eat more at home and I'm just like, it's the same old proteins, which I'm fine with, but I want to get more creative with my veggies and this whole lentil pasta thing, because the only marinades 
or seasonings I use are pink sea salt gar and garlic olive oil. Like that's my woo garlic olive oil time. You know, it's, it's, a, it's like, delicious. It's uh, pathetic, such Dawn. It's pathetic. I you know what? I love it. I, uh, I love it. And here's what I think is very good is that you have. I mean, you are a professional at this, but for other people like thinking like, huh, I also don't like to cook meat at home. Yeah. Those are great solutions, right? It's yeah. like, yes, there's like pre-cooked chicken, but like you said, it could be salmon. It could be turkey meatballs. Right. I, I love that you decided on the solution of how to get protein in your life. Right. Is that how you usually think about meals? Like when you're thinking about a meal, do you usually in your mind think protein first or like? I do. You do. I do, um, because for me, like, and I've tried going vegetarian and I've tried going vegan and I, I just can't get enough protein. And I see like a doctor of naturopathy and she's like, yeah, your body, you know, whatever, the, the construction of your body needs protein. So I'm always like focused on the protein first. And then I'm like, what do I want to have with it? Veggies, you know, so that I try to get creative with the veggies. Yep. Well, you know, like when I am doing meals, a lot of times what I will say to myself is what first I say, what do I feel like eating? And then I started to try and plate it on my plate where there's like, what protein would go with that theme? What grainy thing would go with that theme? And like what vegetables would go with that theme? That's so, so much more fun. Well, that, you know, what? that's really, I think about it like that. And themes, and people are like, what's a theme? It's like, a theme isn't like amusement park, vacation. Right. <laughs> like, no, it's like a theme really is just like Mexican Asian, Mediterranean, Italian, American barbecue, you, yeah, uh, Southwestern. Um, oh Southwest my gosh, Southern. this is why I need help. I'm so happy you asked me to be a guest, but really I was like, I need some help because it is so, I'm okay with boring, but it is so boring. I, you know, you I know? gotta say, as much as, you know, like I'm always like with the party streamers on and balloons yeah. and everything. I mean, part of this show, honestly, is to help me because it is so easy to feel trapped in what you have in your pantry and yeah. like, oh, it's like on repeat. Um, yeah. So, so I do feel like, uh, and you know, and it doesn't work for necessarily everybody. Everyone has their own style, but I really love the idea of like, what theme am I feeling like? And then sort of played it out like that. Or I have told, uh, we had a DJ on a week or two ago, um, <laughs> DJ Megan Taylor. Megan, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she, we were talking about like where to get inspiration. She's like, I'm, you know, I'm creative with music. I'm creative, I'm an artistic person, but just not with food. Yeah. And I was like, well, wherever you usually like to eat, like say the restaurants you used to like to go to, now's the time to open them up online right. uh, and start looking at the menu and trying to like recreate your favorite combos from yeah. what you used to have at like the gym or what you used to have at sweet greens or whatever. Right. Um, Cause I feel like that is a lot of times, like I might not think about the right salad combinations, but then I'll say, Oh, I'll go on the website. I'll be like, Oh my gosh. Like if I would have just put hot sauce and ranch together, those oh. two things would have been great with my sweet right. potato, turkey, meatball, and Brussels sprout bowl. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. So, yeah. So anyway, those are my, in terms of creativity, when I'm not using the pantry party or just scrolling through Instagram, yeah. I tend to do those things. Like think about themes and do um, like, you know, borrowing inspiration from favorite restaurants. Right. Sure. Um, so have you had anything in your house that like you've had a long time or that is almost going bad that we should like use as our... Bouncing off point. Yes. Okay. So, so yes. okay. I actually came prepared with a very specific question, Dawn. Ooh, I okay. Love it. Of course. So, you did. Step it up with Steph is always prepared. That's what I know. <laughs> That's what I know. <laughs> okay. I am. Um, but I also know that you're like the bomb.com. So I wanted to make sure that I that I was like picking your brain with something that is like gonna be a staple in my life now. Um, okay, I do have the cans of tuna. They're way in the back, like, the the tea is in front of it. Okay, so we, we won't go with the tuna. But, like, so, for example, this this would be my protein. This is the lentil pasta, okay? So I don't have that many spices. And, and like I said, I would normally put either marinara sauce on this, which I'm sick of, or garlic, olive oil, and sea salt. And that is so boring. But I have... Um, okay, can I show you my spices? Give it to me, girl. Okay, Give it. There, there's like four, Dawn. <laughs> that's, <laughs> hey, that's good. I think overwhelming yourself. What is that one? Okay, this is black pepper. Okay. Red chili pepper. Yep. Oh, I have a lot of black peppers, actually. Okay, 
Oh, this is something I've never used because I don't know how. Minced onions. Okay. And I have fennel seed because you told me to get fennel seed for like what? Why did I get fennel? Digestion to chew on. I've never used this in anything though. Okay. Here's all I know. Here's all I know. Keep that fennel seed jar out. Okay. You're not going to cook with it, but you are going to eat pinches of it after meals because it's <laughs> a game changer. You just take a pinch of them and put them in your mouth, chew them up. It cleans your mouth from all like bacteria and like stink, whatever. Yeah. Plus, it's good for digestion. Right. And I remember when I was out with you one time, you had a little baggie in your purse. Well, I mean, if you're a classy lady, why wouldn't you go around with bags of funnel seeds? Why? I'm so classy that way. Um, so, I mean, I feel like having a baggie of random spices looks very suspicious. Yes, out it does. Paper. I know. Uh, so anyway, keep those out on okay. the counter. I need those to be post-meal routine. For you. Okay. I need that to be routine. Um, you know what? I did a post on Monday. I was in the exact same situation that you were with this. We bought, uh, I mean, not panic amounts, but right? we bought a good amount of uh, garbanzo bean lentil the legume pasta. Right. And so we are big uh, Rouse pasta sauce people. So we were doing like pasta sauce a lot. Or to your point, we would do a lot of like lemon garlic shrimp arugula, uh, lemon uh, garlic shrimp arugula or marinara. Um, and so it was like, okay, what else to do with pasta? And so yeah. I did a post on Monday of what to do with your legume, gar you know, garbanzo bean or right. pasta that is not marinara. Right? right, right, yes. And so the ones that were came back as like most popular uh -huh. were one was a, like a peanut Thai bowl. Uh -huh. So like to take the noodles out of Italian mode right. and put them more in like, uh, you know, Thai mode. Right, right. Um, and then the other one that I really think is awesome, I had this, I don't know where I had this combination the first time, but to make it a tahini roasted cauliflower noodle bowl. Okay. okay. Interesting, right? I have some cauliflower and, well, I have the rice cauliflower. I don't, oh, get, I don't even know why I bought this. I don't know. Oh, I love rice cauliflower. Yeah. I do love rice cauliflower. Okay. Um, you know what I do a lot with that is I do 50-50 rice, where it's like 50% cauliflower rice, 50% brown rice. Okay. Okay. I, I do love that. Um, a great tip for people. And I also have frozen broccoli. Oh, like, nice. So, so those are going to be my veggies in the pasta. But, you know, to be honest, I, I'm looking for something I can use on veggies too okay do you like peanut sauce because i'm telling you i'm telling you this uh like doing it a version of it's like you know peanut sauce and broccoli are like or like almond but if you don't need peanut butter it's like almond butter sauce right okay i don't have either of those but that's uh, you i live on nut butter well what? i know i i actually so to be quite honest they, they were sold out of it or they they didn't get it when i put my order in and then there's also a store close by i went to and they only had single serving packs oh. so i got one and i used it on my toast yesterday morning that's yeah well have you ever had this where you do pasta and an egg do you eat eggs yes okay no i've not done that though oh it is you know how people do it's like stir fried brown rice where they right. do eggs you know in the rice and it's yeah. so delicious with a bunch of vegetables well, I will say I love eggs and pasta. I okay. don't feel like people eat that ever. And it's right. always like, what are you talking about? Right. It like makes a good, it's like, it's sort of thinking about like, um, you know, what's that? Bo ramen, you know? Yes. And that's a yes. bowl of noodles with yes. like an egg and yes. it's delicious. So it's like, yes. why don't we always have that as an option? Right. And then right. that would suit your double protein needs because it would be the protein from the pasta <laughs> and protein from an egg. Uh, right. with your delicious uh, broccoli and the egg sort of makes its own sauce. Kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. Like, you know, your pepper that you, that the, the one spice that you actually love <laughs> with your pepper. I mean, it could be that. Let's see. Wait, hang on. Let's see. What other okay. things did I put on my um, post this week? Because I do feel like uh, I got a lot of feedback from this post of pasta and people were like, oh my yeah. God, I love it. Because again, beyond, um, Beyond the marinara, which I do love marinara. Oh, right. you know what we did yesterday? What? Oh, oh, oh the venison? Okay, she did a venison, but puttanesca sauce. And right. she called it, did you see how she kept calling it funk? 
She yes. was like, you gotta add the funk. Yes. And I was like, what's funk? Uh, um, what are those called? Anchovies. Yeah. Papers and olives. She made that sound so good. Oh, yes. Okay, you know what? I forgot about the olives because I could use olives too. She well, she made that seem like that was going to be the best thing ever. I right. never, when I see that on the menu, I never think about ordering it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. So here's, here are the ones. I had uh, spinach artichoke pasta. So you put spinach artichokes, Parmesan cheese on top of that pasta. Done. Okay. I also had vegan cheese and greens pasta. Okay. And that was pasta with some kind of greens like arugula. And then vegan Parmesan cheese is walnuts and nutritional yeast together. Right. Uh, okay. Thai peanuts, which we established you do not have peanut butter or <laughs> almond butter. But it would be broccoli, your lentil things, uh, your lentil pasta. And then I had peanut butter, coconut aminos, and chili sauce. So we could do, do you have Asian stuff? Maybe we should do more Asian noodles for you. Like, do you have coconut aminos or like a te uh, soy sauce type of thing? No. Oh, no problem. I have That's balsamic vinegar and what do I have? Oh yeah, balsamic vinegar, Brazil. I have Brazil nut oil. Oh, is that from now? Yes. I, I have, have that too. Now. I have that brand too. Yes. Um, Hey, you know what? I think this might be an interesting time for us to have maybe, do you have any greens in your house? Greens. Like um, spinach or arugula? I have spinach and I have the frozen broccoli. Okay, let me ask you this question, my dear. Do yes. you have any nuts in your house at all? Any, I have a like, few cashews. Okay, would you ever be considering uh, this idea, oh nice, to do a creamy pesto sauce with cashews, spinach. Yes. You know, because like a traditional pesto is I basil, pine nuts, Parmesan cheese, olive oil. So you have oil. Would I you use have my Cuisinart? What? Would I use my Cuisinart? You could. Do you have it? I got that out on, on purpose just so I would cook more and I haven't used it yet. What do you think about that? I mean, I honestly, I think the, the idea of... Um, you know, Bowl Obsessed, a few episodes ago, she did a sauce that was red bell pepper cashew, like okay. nutritional yeast. It was like more of like a cheesy, creamy red pepper sauce. Right. But this would be like a pesto version with whatever nuts. Be and the reason why I'm thinking this is an interesting thing beyond the egg is because I think our real solution to your life <laughs> is you need more sauces in your life yes. and dressings. Yes. yes. I do. I think your life would change. I'm not kidding. I think your I, life would change if you had, you know, like a good ranch, a good like hot yeah. sauce, a little bit of like, I have a sesame ginger dressing that I love. I've I seen like, that. Uh, Primal Kitchen or Tessame. I forget who made it. But yeah. like you could have, you could do sesame ginger dressing with your noodles, put right. an egg on it with broccoli and you, dude, you'd be good. Who's yes. Jennifer? Your sister? That's my sister. She needs more flavors. Dude, she, she said. needs more flavors, <laughs> literally. And you know what? And I think, do you like Asian food at all? Like I Asian love, stuff? I love all food. Okay, well, I love that answer. So this, <gasps> that might be after uh, when you like we settle down from the pantry party, we come up with a final meal for your lentil noodles. I really do think it would be fun to have your list for your next grocery store. To like, maybe even it's just easy as like a sesame ginger dressing. And you yeah. literally, and you can make that like an Asian noodle. You can, dressing doesn't have to just go on, uh, you know, salad. Like right. You can have that as like on your noodles with an egg and right. broccoli. And right. I think you would freak out. I think I would too. I think you would freak out. And then we could get fancy and you can make your own like with chili sauce and coconut aminos. Right. And we can get a little fancier down the road, but I feel okay. like just buying one pre-made, good quality dressing yeah. with yeah. Because like. right now I only have barbecue sauce. Well, I do love the barbecue sauce. <laughs> I, do. I do love a barbecue sauce. I will just say, um, <laughs> but I love. I really want these noodles to skew crazy, like different for you. Okay. Uh, okay. down the road because we don't have anything enough right now to do anything Asian because no uh, sesame oil and no um, soy sauce type thing right yeah so we can't do it yet but on your list is sesame ginger dressing okay okay. okay okay so that's in the future you're gonna make those noodles Asian -y. okay but the second thing that I would absolutely say is I think those noodles need uh, you to get that cuisinart and try a pesto okay so what am I putting in it I'm putting cashews and then I forgot 
Well, we need some sort of like greenery. So a lot of times oh. pesto is made with basil, but we have spinach in your house. So we can yeah. make it with spinach and cashews. And then if that will make like a paste that's not good, that is not that good. And now you put a little oil in there. So whatever. Which, which oil? Have, olive oil. The garlic one? You have garlic olive oil? Yeah. Yes. Obviously, this is the answer, girl. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> Even that alone would taste delicious because you know that garlic olive oil tastes very good. Right. Cashews I know. Yeah. are going to be a good mouthfeel and then it'll be bright green and pretty to be yeah. on your sauce. Like or on your noodles. Meat. Okay. I love that. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is great. The only thing that I wonder is then, you know, like it is green on green. Like you'll have broccoli in there too. And it's going to be like a green pesto on green sauce. So maybe that's going to be a lot of green, but who cares? Green. I love green. Green And for it's energy. your earrings. It fits the theme of the oh, day. Yeah. I saw someone, I know, I, Kale, I saw someone say that they loved your earrings, by the way. I think it was Katie Keo. Oh. And Rachelle is saying hi to us. Anyways, everyone's okay. I'm yeah. glad you are. I'm glad everyone is able to participate and be, uh, chatting because I have been unable to chat because uh, I have been brainstorming of like <laughs> what I could possibly do with two cashews, a <laughs> bottle of black pepper, and a can of tuna. And it's like, I'm good, but I am not that good. <laughs> I am good. I am not that good. Um, but any, I, lo I love what we have. You actually have three assignments. If I could just give you a quick. Whoa, okay, hold assignment. on. Let me write this down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, All you right. actually have three assignments. <laughs> okay. You know what? And this is what I enjoy about you. You are always game and raring to go. She's, <laughs> she's writing this stuff down. Most people in the pantry party, when I say anything, they're like, I think they're literally checking their phone for texts and stuff. You're, you're <laughs> like the gospel, though. You're like, when you speak, <laughs> like, that's how gospel. I feel about you. And, and actually, when we're done with this, I have, I'm, you're going to give us maybe a good stretch of the day. Okay. How about that? Okay. Sure. All right. So your three assignments are keep that bottle of fennel seeds out of the cabinet. Right, right, right. And okay. after you eat, give yourself a pinch of them. So that's like maybe five or six little seeds. Okay. Chew them up well in your mouth and feel fresh and digest so well. That's okay. assignment one. Just test it out. See how you like it. Okay. Um, number two. Some people make teas with it and all sorts of stuff. Just, I say chew it up. Be easy. Yeah. Okay. Number two. On your grocery list, the next time that you're ordering groceries, could you please get a sesame ginger dressing? Yes. Wait, and so skew... is that pre-made or am I making it? No. Just make it, get it pre-made. Primal Kitchen or Tessame are the brands that, I'm sure it's one of those brands. Okay. Um, and what I like about that is that you can put that warm on your warm noodles with an egg and broccoli and have like a little Asian warm bowl. I love that for you. Okay. Love it. Okay. So that's your next step with those noodles that are beyond marinara. Okay. Today, what we're doing is we're using the Cuisinart that you already pulled down. Right. And we're putting in your garlic olive oil, cashews, and spinach. Okay. And you're making a very quickie quick three ingredients uh pesto to pour over the top now if you had a lemon do you have lemon yes yeah lemon would be good in there too so like a little bit of lemon um okay. and then you can pour that over your noodles with some broccoli and i feel like you know you're gonna love it because the creamy fatty cashews with the fatty garlic olive oil is gonna feel decadent even though all you're really eating is like lentil pasta and broccoli right right Sauce is boss. That is your new mantra. Sauce, sauce is, boss. is boss. Oh, I love that sauce. Okay, sauce is boss. Okay. And so those are your three assignments uh, okay. from the pantry party. I... Um, you have the best energy. I love you oh. so much. Oh, my But uh, I need to have a stretch of the day from you. You are not allowed to get off this party pantry. Okay. You have a step it up with step okay. stretch of the day. <laughs> okay, well, since I'm going to be hunched over by Queen and Art, <laughs> Just trying to figure out how to make it work. That's <laughs> one. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do shoulders back, clasp my hands, oh! reach my arms back as far as I can, and then I'm gonna lift my head up and try to arch my upper back, but pull my abs in. So low back does not arch, just upper back. And okay, wait. Back. So low back does not arch. Hang on, I'm doing this. And then my upper back is actually, my, is my head back? The head is back, like, like, throw oh, it up. It was so good. I know. That's going to be my, my post Cuisinart pesto stretch. Oh, hey, babe, <laughs> that is such 
such a good stretch because you know what? Whether it's you're hunched over your Cuisinart or like me, I'm literally, I'm always hunched over my computer. Yeah. Yeah. That literally just changed everything. I feel like a whole new blood flow. Like it I just know. happens. And, and the, the head tilt is like money. That's Love where it. it's at. Yeah. 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 Step it up with Steph. You're changing lives. Oh. You've changed my life. I love you. You I are so you great. Too. Um, will you tell everybody where they can get more Step It Up With Steph and all the magic that you are? Oh my gosh, stepitupwithsteph.com or here on Insta, Step It Up With Steph. And also someone is asking you, Dawn, where there are apples, if, if there are apples. Um, oh, and wait, that, yeah, okay, fine. Let's look at these comments. So right. I, could, I, I honest to goodness could not look at any comments because <laughs> I was like having a, <laughs> like I really, I needed every like neuron that was up there, like to start connecting. I'm I literally like, a head case. I'm a head I, case I, for you. <laughs> wait, so some, oh, probably, oh, hey, Katie, thank you for the earring love. Yeah, you're right. It was her who said oh, about yeah. the earrings. Um, and then somebody was asking, oh, probably I have been working with Rocket Apples. Yes. And there are these little snack sized apples. And so if you go to at Rocket Apple Singular USA, at Rocket Apple USA Instagram, you can click their bio. And then it will take you to their website, and it's called a fruit locator. So you can then locate where these little babies where, are. yeah, you can find them. I'll tell you, um, the sightings around town have been uh, Trader Joe's, Walmart. Okay. Um, okay. But just put your zip code in there, and I feel like whoever asked that, thank you for asking because those apples are a game changer. I mean, I'm, it's not like I have to portion control everything in my life. Like, so right. I'm not like obsessive in any way. But like they are literally are the most perfect portion of an apple because sometimes you know apples are like oh they're big right they're, they're them. like it's like a process to eat the whole thing because I'm lazy and I don't cut it up I just like I'm like holy it's the truth it's and then the I truth a really big bite and then I choke sometimes that's too big of a bite and it's like no so I love those apples hashtag struggle is real kids yeah. struggle is real. Um, so thank you for that question. Any other things that you read while I was uh, using all my neurons? Um, I was like, people were kind of making fun of me. Like, no one said I was <laughs> no. a lost cause, but that's... Oh, it's probably all your sister. I gotta yeah. love her. She is something. She loves you. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, she put so in all fun. caps. She needs more flavors. Oh, <laughs> everything bagel seasoning. That's a good one. You know, my husband loves that. Yeah. Um, it's very, it's, it's garlicky to me. I have to use like a dabble duya. Like I really have to go easy on it for my love. Uh -huh. my, but it is true. I mean, you can put that on everything. You can right. put that beep on everything. Right. Right. Uh, oh yeah. And everybody thanks you for the stretch too. It's very oh. good. Oh, <laughs> uh, step it up with Steph. I love you. I love That's you Step too. it up with Steph. Step it up with Steph.com. Step it up with Steph on PBS. Like everywhere. Step it up with Steph. Uh, sometimes I mean you're everywhere and and you have a right to be you have great ideas and you're really helping everybody so thanks for being on the pantry party show today babe thank you for having me go Dawn. do your homework go do your okay. homework <laughs> I got it I'm ready I to go it. I love it I love you babe <laughs> I and love you hey, too bye and bye. that's been another fabulous episode and fabulous week of the pantry party show and what do you think is going to happen next week? Well, I already have all of the guests lined up. So we're having another full week of the Pantry Party Show. So have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you back here at noon central time every single weekday next week for the Pantry Party Show with your host, Ed DJ Blattner. Until so next time, sending you high immunity vibes, big love, and lots and lots of kisses. Bye, Steph. <laughs> Bye.